All right, good morning. This is um, an uplifting um, Uber uh, Uber Lyft ride video that, that I'm doing. I haven't done one in um, a couple of months. It will be um, really, really quick. Um, I just had um, a really unfortunate encounter with um, with a passenger. I was uh, called to um, the location. I got there on time. I wasn't very far away. And um, they, they, they come out. And uh, it was basically to um, take a middle schooler to, to school. The dad was with him, which that's fine. I can take under underage minors as long as um, the, the parent is, is with them. So all of that was good and fine. Um, he tried to open, the, the dad tried to open my front door. Okay. Now, um, you, you can't see it, but I have a little sign. Um, it's about, about that, that big. Um, on my passenger, my front passenger side window, that says something like um, passengers with an arrow pointing to the back. It says, passengers, please ride in back. Thanks. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, it's not super huge or that would, you know, obstruct view and I could get a ticket for that. So, like I said, it's about that big. Um, and this is the first time in not quite a year that I've had this on my car that I got a um, <laughs> violent uh, remark about it. And so he's like, you know, because he's, you know, trying to open the door and it's, it's locked. I keep my front door locked. And this is for my safety because I don't feel comfortable with people sitting up front unless... Um, Unless there's like three or four people, then obviously somebody sits up front with me. But if it's just one or two people, I'm not comfortable. I mean, I did that when I first started driving. It's extremely uncomfortable for me. And this is just me. I realize other drivers may not have a problem with it at all. But for me, it's uncomfortable. I feel like my space is extremely crowded. And I feel like I'm sitting here like this. Okay, you know, I, I, I really can't put my, my arm out. I can't relax. It's, it's stressful for me. And I just decided after seeing another driver at the airport with the same exact kind of sign on their window, I thought, okay, that will relieve my stress and my anxiety. Okay, because the last thing I want is somebody who is sitting up front with me getting rude or obnoxious, and I've had a few here and there, nothing, you know, really to, to write home about, and so he's, like, trying to open the door, and I said, and, and I was very nice, and I said, oh, I require uh, my passengers to sit in the back, and his son was already opening the back door so that he could, you know, get in, okay, well, this really teed off this, this dad, and he's like, why do you deal with the public, and it's like, I really couldn't get a word in edgewise. And he's like, you know, forget it. I'll just get another ride. And I said, that's fine. And, and I said, please close my door. And so then I drove around the corner because I was still within rage. My range, my countdown um, timer was, you know, it's it, with, with lift. It starts at five minutes and it counts down to zero. Then you can get your cancellation fee. Okay, so I went around the corner, and I sat there, and I waited out the rest of my five minutes. And, um, you know, I, I do try to, to be honest. Um, so it said no show. And so I clicked it, and then a couple of options pulled, you know, popped up. You know, the, the passenger didn't show up. Well, it wasn't that, because he did, pa you know, show up. I didn't want to lie. And so the next one was um, rider um, said to cancel. And that's exactly what happened. So I put that in after I'd waited the five minutes and I was now eligible for my cancellation fee of $5. And then it comes up that I'm not going to get paid for that. So I emailed um, 
lift support right away told them exactly what happened that it's my car my rules and that when it's just one or two passengers i require um them to sit in the back now there are some ex uh, s some exemptions that that i do allow if it's an elderly person or something like that even if it's a man i let him sit up front okay but for the most part if it's one or two passengers they sit in the back and nobody until today has had a problem with it <coughs> so my question to you other drivers out there, number one, leave in comments, please, if you also have some similar sign, um, maybe your your thoughts on this. I mean, some drivers may think, you know, well, you can't really do that, okay? I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe you think it's kind of like, um, you know, you have to accept disabled people even if they have wheelchairs. Um, you know, service animals. Well, see, I think this is different. It's not that I'm refusing them a ride, okay? And it's not like it was three people and I'm making all three people, you know, scrunch in in the back seat, okay? Um, this, I, I believe, just in my personal opinion, that I was within my rights to kindly ask the passengers to sit in the back, okay? So, well... Guy didn't like it, and and th and that's 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 his choice. He can cancel, but I should be um, given my five dollar cancellation fee. So I'm a little mad about that. Um, I did see that Lyft um, replied. So hopefully, when they understand what happened, they will go ahead and give me my uh, five dollar cancellation fee. Um. So just uh, let let me know your thoughts on this, you you other drivers out there. Number one, do you do this as well? Do do any of you put um, signs on your driver's side window asking for your riders to sit in back? Um, you know, let, let, let me know your thoughts. I understand some of you um, might feel that, yeah, this could, could cause a problem. You probably don't want to do this. I'm not going to change. You know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just not. Because I have to be safe when I'm driving. I don't want to feel uncomfortable. I don't want to feel like my safety is in jeopardy. So let me know your thoughts, all right? Okay, well, I'm getting back to work. So take care, everyone.